When you don't have water or food and you don't know what's future, there is no chance that you dream to have a dream. Only hope is to survive. My name is Richard Tingarian. I have been American citizen for 32 years. I was born in Aleppo, Syria, to Armenian parents. They were genocide survivor. We were always uh, second-class citizens. We used to read all about American stories, and I was fascinated first when I read about uh, Disneyland when it's open. It was like a land of imagination, and that was all about my uh, kind of dream to live uh, a life of imagining things. Model making, it's all about imagination. When you're young uh, and you are ambitious and you have desire, you just jump without thinking, you know? It was part of my instinct or my nature. When I arrived to the United States, I had $25 in my pocket, and second day, which was 4th of July. I saw all the firework, uh, I saw the picnics, I saw all the happy faces. I already felt that I can accomplish my dreams in this country. I want to achieve what I had in mind. So I was working day and night, you know. I found a job for model making that gave me a chance to save some money to bring my family to the United States and start architectural education. I felt uh, complete. I never gave up. I always was hopeful, you know, to go uh, toward my dream. The Statue of Liberty for me, it's like a lighthouse. No matter who you are, if you are ambitious and hardworking, eventually you will achieve your American dream. My name is uh, Dikran Tangerian, Armenian name. When I became citizen, I had Richard at the beginning. My name is Richard Dikran Tangerian now. Every time somebody calls me Richard, I know that I'm saying thank you to America.